Before starting up the excavator prior to your shift, it is important to carry out a few checks. When the excavator is new and the engine has only been running a few hours, it is a good idea to take a look at the engine oil level. Open the right hand hood and turn on the main switch. Always use the right hand corner of the excavator when gaining access to the superstructure. Here there is a safe three point access with handrail and anti slip steps the entire way up. Avoid any other means of access. Take care on top of the superstructure and find a comfortable position when checking the engine compartment. Open up the two latches and open the engine hood, which has a self locking upper position. Check the oil level and always use a clean paper towel to avoid any contamination on the dipstick. The oil should be between the minimum and maximum level, and if not, make the necessary corrections. This is the traditional way to check the engine oil. You can, however, check the engine oil level more easily from the cab on the display. Visually check the engine compartment to see if there is any leakage or other malfunction. Close the engine hood and lock it with both latches. Be careful when climbing down from the superstructure and only use the right hand access way. Turn around and face the excavator when climbing down using the handrails and steps. Open the door to the main hydraulic pump. Check for any leakage or anything else that looks wrong. The fuel filter water separator might need to be drained if there is still some water remaining. It is easy to see any leakage under the superstructure and important to locate it early in order to make the necessary repairs before any contamination occurs. To achieve the highest efficiency and performance, check that the coolers and condenser are clean. If not, then clean them using an air gun or brush. Walk around the excavator and carry out a visual inspection to make sure that everything is in order. Concentrate particularly on the undercarriage and digging equipment. Replace any damaged pipes, hydraulic hoses and such like as quickly as possible. Enter the cab using the handrails and anti-slip steps. Store your hard hat behind the seat and put on the safety belt. For the best comfort, you should be able to reach the joysticks, steering wheel and pedals easily. There are many seat adjustment possibilities available. Refer to the operator manual to locate them all. This excavator is also equipped with an air suspension seat. Press the switch until you are in the red field and then release the pressure so that you can see the green field. This is the correct adjustment for your weight. Adjust the consoles, armrests and the backward forward position. Try holding the joysticks and using the pedals and continue adjusting until you are satisfied. With your foot, press the button on the bottom of the steering column to adjust the position of the steering wheel. For best visibility when digging, move the steering column out of the working area. Adjust the mirrors if they are incorrectly positioned. Make sure you can see all the corners of your excavators to ensure safety when driving. Take a final look in the operator manual if you feel unsure about any procedure. Turn the key to its first position. Now you can see the engine oil level on the display. 
If the level is in the red area, you must refill the oil before starting. With the control lockout lever folded down, you can now start the engine. Turn the key. Fold up the control lockout lever, close the door, and you can now start your working day.